Good morning from Eagle Motorsports in Bullhead City, Arizona, 2106 Highway 95. We are going to do a quick little video of getting to know your Warrior 1000 from Benchy. They're out of Garland, Texas. They're a 1000cc V-twin liquid cooled unit. Um, we're going to get the back popped up here and I'll go over some of the functions, show you the motor and uh, show you a little bit about what uh, your new unit does. All right, so we got the back of the tilt bed lifted up. It is done electronically. I'll show you that button here in just a second. You do have two seats here in the rear, but they are removable. So if you wanna use your bed, uh, no problem there. You just pull the levers on each side and the seats come right out. Uh, you do have a tow hitch that's gonna come with this unit. You're good up to 3,500 pounds. We'll just do a little walk around here. You can see the back seats do include seat belts. Underneath is going to be your motor. We get down here. This is a V-twin, 1,000cc liquid cooled. All right, so we're, now we're on the passenger side of the Warrior. You will find that you have a locking glove box there. Awesome for when you do trips up to Oatman or like the bunker bar and wanted to leave some stuff in your glove box and don't have to worry about anybody rifling through it. You do have your gas fill here. That is gonna be 91 if you want the best performance and uh, longevity of your motor. You do have some clevises here on the side to tie into your uh, bed here. Underneath your tilt bed on the passenger side, you'll also see your oil fill. It's always good to check your oil um, before and after every trip. Um, nothing really else to check underneath here, but this is your uh, motor and drive line and all that fun stuff here. Uh, Benchy does offer a one year manufacturer's warranty, so it's gonna cover anything that's uh, manufacturer defects. So it'll cover things like motor, transmissions, um, doesn't cover anything that is normal wear and tear, so dust seals, belts, things of that nature. Onto the front of the unit, you do have a removable hardtop roof. Um, you do have a winch here, it's capable of 3,500 pounds, LED headlights. Um, this does come with blinkers, a horn, so we do register them street and off-road for you guys. Um, if you just purchased one, your tags will be in soon. You do have tons of clevises here, it's awesome for storing coolers or shovels. Um, if you're a hunter and you're out uh, hunting, that's a good place to put your game if you got a bunch of stuff in the back. All right, moving on to the inside of your unit here. I'm just gonna take a seat. We'll go over all your buttons. You have two controls for your lights here. Blinkers, hazard, horn. Um, this is gonna be for your winch in and out. This is gonna be to lower your or lift your cargo bed. Right now our cargo bed's up. So if you see when I press the down button, your bed is going to lower. You wanna make sure that when you're driving that is all the way down. You do have your two wheel drive and four wheel drive front. So right now it's in two wheel drive. You wanna make sure you're always stopped to put it into four wheel drive. And then you do have uh, front lockers and rear lockers here. For the front lockers, this is all the way down. You'll see it's in the unlock position and the rear locker right now is all the way up, which is in the unlock position. To lock these in, it'd be like that. You've got your key here. This is turned all the way over. Put on the brake. And the unit starts. You can also start it with the hook brake down and just with the start button itself. You have your shifter here. Low is good for up to about 25 miles per hour. Anytime you're over 25 miles per hour, you want to put it to high. You do have neutral, reverse, and then park. Um, anytime you switch into any gear, four wheel drive, or in from high to low, or neutral, or reverse, or to park, you always want to make sure you're all the way stopped. Over here you have your gauges. On the left hand side is going to be your speedometer. This will show you your RPM. This will show you your miles, your gas gauge, and your RPM gauge uh, here as well. You do have a 12 volt um, charging dock here. This is going to be for your USBs. This will be just a, like a regular cigarette lighter there. 
all your seats are adjustable. This lever here takes your seat out. This lever here slides your seat forward. We do have a couple of cup holders. This is a five-seater. We do register them street and off-road for you guys.